Romana Salo Tenna from Katana Asset Management. What are the biggest emerging trends that you believe are going to impact the year ahead? Yeah, I think there's probably two levels. I mean, obviously the the, the really big trend is electrification, decarbonisation. And that's a trend that's going to impact not just 2023, but I think the next couple of decades at least. And that's, you know, that's the, the big daddy of all trends here. I think the uh, more immediate trends that people need to be focused on is the impact of interest rates being driven by central banks finally coming together to fight inflation. And I think there's, you know, there's two aspects to that. Firstly, is the impact on consumer spending. And secondly, is going to be the impact on corporate profitability. And what are your preferred emerging sectors or stocks in the year ahead? Yeah, look, I think there, again, falls into two categories. I think the firstly, in terms of the, the big trend, electrification, decarbonisation, uh, we've really been working hard to try and identify companies that can benefit from that very long-term thematic. Uh, in Australia, which is where our, our mandate is limited to, it is more difficult to play that theme. Uh, we've focused on um, EV metals, specifically lithium and copper. We think um, both of those are underestimated in terms of uh, the demand and the impact they'll have. I think lithium now is starting to get, uh, you know, some, some real uh, revaluation and re-ratings. But I think in the, in the um, area of copper, for example, uh, I think the market has really underestimated just how much copper is required over the next decade if we are truly to reach our goals and electrification. I think beyond that, if you look at the interest rate theme and where that's driving us, I think the, the, it's more about the sectors you want to avoid at the moment. And I think you want to avoid sectors where um, they're consumer facing. I think the consumers at the front end of a substantial decline in spending. I think we're going to see sales volumes fall away. And I think margins will drop as people try and compete for the consumer dollar. So I think consumer facing uh, companies are the ones we're trying to avoid. I think the ones that we're really looking to to continue to uh, gain exposure to are very limited, very targeted. In addition to EV, as I've mentioned, we're also looking at um, specifically uh, some specific types of energy. So LNG and coal, believe it or not, is actually two of the areas that we see you sort of good outlook for in 2023. Um, and also, we're now just starting to do the work on some of the recovery tech plays. A lot of tech stocks are down 70, 80%. Uh, we're focusing on the earners, not the burners. So companies that are making good profits as opposed to still burning cash. And we think there's some good opportunities that will probably start to pick off in the, in the back half of 2023. So finally, what emerging trend do you think everyone should learn about more and why? Yeah, I think it comes back to that, that massive you know, multi-decade theme, which is electrification and decarbonisation. You know, we are past the tipping point, as everyone will be aware now. It is it is a question of when, not if. Uh, and, and the when is probably going to be a lot sooner than we all think. So I think, you know, the, the, the one certainty in our world over the next little while is that we're going to have a, a more rapid push towards um, uh, greener forms of energy. And, uh, and that's going to create some huge opportunities for companies that can capitalise uh, on the technology firstly, and then secondly, on the raw materials required for that transition.